Hey folks, today we've got a high speed wind test with the new DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is absolutely howling out here today. Cruising at over 55 kilometers an hour right now. The wind's coming through here. Measure at the end of the piers right there. Uh, and it's getting faster and faster as we go along. So I'm gonna get this thing straight away in the air and then we'll talk about details as we get going because it's getting a bit wet as well. So I'm hoping you can see this. Uh, I'll put it right here. Hopefully you can still see that on the ground right there. Here we go. Okay, screen recording on, video recording on. Clear, whole area, good. There we go, and up. So let me pull it back a little bit. You can see it's a little, little bit wild, a little bit spicy right now, but not too bad. Now, at this point, a bit of wave weather there. Let me get it back so you can see it here. Come on, come on. Settle out, you got it. There we go, now we're settling out. Bring it down so you can see it here. Now, at this point, it is actually gonna be using its ground sensors on the bottom of it. It has three sets of sensors, forward facing, rearward facing, and downward facing. When it's close to the ground like this, within I think about eight meters or so, it's gonna use these downward facing sensors to keep place. You can see right now, I don't have any hands on the control at all. It's just chilling right there. Hopefully, again, you can see it and bring it down in case you can't. Uh, definitely some little wind gusts coming through here, but not too bad overall. Now, at this point, I'm gonna pop it into sport mode because that gives me more speed to play with. Uh, in the case of sport mode, it tops out at roughly 36 miles an hour, uh, 56, I think, uh, kilometers an hour. So I'm gonna pop it into that. The only downside, of course, is I lose obstacle avoidance. But now I'm gonna go ahead and fly on down there. The wind right now is coming at me this way. The beach is that way. My general goal in life is to be able to get back to here or get back to the beach if all else fails. So I'm gonna first go down this way because I think it's fine right now. Oh, and this video is definitely not sponsored. I'm just gonna show it like it is. If the drone lives, it's great. If it dies, that's uh, not so great, but I'm gonna show it to you too. Just fly along the pier like this. There we go. Strong wind warning. Yeah, we're gonna have a few of those today. So it's definitely looking pretty sideways, but it's cruising, like no problems gimbal-wise. Again, I can kind of just keep it stable. I'm just gonna keep it stable right here for a quick second. Uh, in fact, We'll get back to this and we'll look at the 120 frame per second option for these waves because that'd be amazing. Instead, I'm gonna follow this pier straight down. And right now, you would not know looking at this footage that it is bouncing all over the sky. And it's doing just fine. I'm using the DJI RC, that's the newer one here, uh, but I've also used the regular remote control as well. No real issues. Oh, that was wet. That was not good. Um, but anyways, no real issues so far. This may have some problems later on, but that's a, that's a problem for a different day. We're gonna get ourselves down here to that uh, lighthouse at the end, the channel marker there for the ships. And I'm gonna do a bit of an orbit around it and see how well it can hold that position as we fly along. So get down there. We'll get this uh, strong wind warning out of the way. It's gonna be again, like I said, the case the entire time. We got a bit more altitude. And now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the focus track modes. Uh, I'm gonna actually clean off the screen real quick on this because I got a lot of water and it's kind of hard to, to see. There we go, perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna simply highlight that. There we go, I gotta get back, perfect. Okay, and then point of interest. Yep, the whole thing. Press go, and off we go. I'm gonna go ahead and swing that up a little faster now. Hello, birds. YOLO. Okay, so we're going out. Now at this point, it should be basically equal to the wind, and as we swing around this backside here, that's where you're gonna see it probably slow down a little bit because of the fact that it's now going into the wind. So right here, it should be starting its churn into the wind, uh, but again, you would never know this was out in crazy windy conditions right now uh, unless you saw me here with all the wind. Uh, so you can see it slightly lost the actual positioning on the lighthouse itself. It's kind of moved a bit off there, but it's still holding on. I am getting a bit of a weak uh, antenna signal there, which I'm somewhat surprised at. I'm only 700 meters away and this is rated quite a bit further than that, uh, but you know, it's all right. There we go, completed that, no problem at all. So we'll go ahead and we'll stop that and we'll bring it back up here. And I'm gonna circle my, close this out. There we go. And we're gonna cruise on back. Now, right now, I'm going pretty close to dead in the wind. Uh, if I were to turn a bit more, you can see I'm about 20 kilometers an hour. Ah, uh, interesting, a battery full load method, method, battery full load message. I've seen this a couple times in the Mini 3 in these sort of heavier conditions. Uh, nothing I can do about that. It's just gonna have to have to roll there. So hopefully there won't be too much of an issue. Oh, hey, and a quick note, if you're finding this video interesting, useful, entertaining, something, just simply whack that like button at the bottom there. It really helps out this video and the channel quite a bit.
I'm only going, let's see, yeah, 20 kilometers an hour. I'm in sport mode right now, uh, getting back on this brake, but it is traversing this just fine. And right now I am kind of traversing the wind as this brake rotates around. And that's a bit of a tip in terms of when you have to get back somewhere, uh, you always want to kind of cut against the wind just like a sailboat would do. And you can also drop down. So let me show you this. I'm going to drop down closer to the water. Uh, and sure, the brake is helping a fair bit here, but watch this, boom. I'm now at 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, and that applies for all the wind tests I've done out here is that when you get in trouble, the lower you are, the better the wind conditions are, or the less the wind conditions are, if you will. So the higher up you go, the more wind you've got to deal with. So you can see now, cruise along here, uh, get down a little bit lower again. Strong wind warning, no problem. Cool. So now just to show you how fast we can get rolling, I'm gonna go and turn with the wind entirely. Let me get above this break here. We're gonna go out a little ways first, because again, my general rule of thumb is fly out into the wind and never get myself in a situation where I can't get back home because of high winds. So now I'm going dead into the wind right now. Uh, and it's still hold on at 23 kilometers an hour. It's not too bad right now. I'm pretty happy with this. And then once in a second, we're gonna swing it around and go full speed back. And I think I'm gonna do 120 frames per second, uh, just because that's gonna be an awesome shot at full speed. So swing it around. I'm gonna stop this right here. There we go. Bring it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go into the modes, slow motion, 120 frames per second, and get the wind warning out of the way. Here we go. Oops, here we go, full speed. A little bit of down gimbal as I go across this. There we go, that's gonna look nice later on, hopefully. I'll put these at the end of the video. If I get some boats out here, it's a harbor boat out there. If I get some good uh, cargo ships coming in, I'll stick it all at the end of the video. You can check that out, uh, kind of slow motion as well as regular stuff. Uh, super, super cool. I'm gonna go back though, and I wanna get a couple more shots here of this in slow motion. Yo, birds again. These birds are, uh, birds are after me today. No, literally, they're actually trying to, to fly after this little thing. There we go, can, out of the way so they're no longer on that. So I popped into 4K right now, and I'm gonna try to manually track these folks going back. I know in parallel mode, I have to get too close. I don't wanna be that close to these people. So I'm just gonna kinda of hang out right now, right here. And I'm having no problems at all right now manually tracking him, just move it along. Again, the aircraft is perfectly stable. And I mean, I'm really hoping for just a massive wave. I know, I mean, he, he rode out here, so he knows what he's into at this point. But I'm hoping for something epic. Come on, give me something epic. If you haven't seen my Scadio tracking video in the wind, by the way, I go out there myself and it is pretty epic. But uh, we'll see if this guy can make it th through the cut here. We've got a couple more big sections coming up. Uh, I think that's the woman, so apologies to her. No, she's got the clear here. Unless she gets something in the last couple seconds, she's in the clear. Yeah, she is. Okay, her friend is coming through here at this point, tracking him. Let's see if he's as lucky. So this seems like a good time to talk about the max speed technical specifications of the Mini 3, because there are essentially four different specifications. There is the max flyable speed, which then has three sub specifications, cinema mode, normal mode, and sport mode. And then there's the max air resistance speed. The way DJI does all their specs, their normal speed matches the max wind resistance speed. However, in real life, the way it works is that you actually care about the maximum overall speed of the aircraft. In this case, about 56 kilometers an hour. So as long as my wind stays below 56 kilometers an hour, this thing will stay right there. And right now I am on the fringe of that in terms of the gusts and stuff like that, but I still have that playroom to get myself back if I need to, again, because I've always got kind of my outs, my emergency outs. My emergency outs here are flying at wars to the other pier, flying back to the beach. I can get down close to the edge, bring it back. I got lots and lots of options. I would never ever do this test if the wind's going this way out to sea, because as the winds pick up, the gusts are higher, whatever the case is, then I can't get my aircraft back. So at this point, this is a good time to get the aircraft back to me. So you can see I'm right on down there. Easy peasy. We'll go ahead and bring it down on the dry side right now. It's all relative, I guess. Put it back in front of the uh, camera so you can see what's gonna go on here. I'm gonna go back into normal mode. In just a second, it should engage the sensors on the bottom. There we go. Now it's locked. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. Bring it a little bit forward. Bring it over here so you can see what's gonna go on here. And again, now at this point, it's using these bottom obstacle sensors to lock on. It's not gonna be using GPS anymore. In that past up there, it'll be using all those GPS satellites, 26 of them. And all I gotta do is simply reach up. There we go. And turn it over and it's done. And the way DJI drones work, the moment you turn it over like that, it instantly stops the props. Speaking of which, if you haven't seen my full 45 minute beginner video on the DJI Mini 3 Pro, definitely check that out in the corner, as well as ActaTrack. All that goodness I've got covered right there. 
Okay, there you go, a complete look at the DJI Mini 3 Pro in the wind and a little bit of wet. Uh, as you can see, no problems at all handling this wind. Uh, if you haven't checked out the rest of my DJI wind videos, they're all up there somewhere in the corner, so there's lots to check out. Uh, thank you for watching. Go and like that like button at the bottom there, or a subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one. Oh, and since I've got two more batteries left, I'm going to stay out here a while and see if I can get some amazing footage. Uh, just keep watching on the video.